Hello friends, this is Pravin Pawar. In this video, we will discuss the question paper of VGCNET, December 2015. This is paper 1. We will discuss the question number 31 to 60. For previous questions, please go to my another video. So, here we will start. Now, question number 31. Consider the argument given below. Pre-employment testing of teachers is quite fair because Doctors, architects and engineers who are now employed had to face such a testing. So what type of argument it is? So it is easily observed that uh, teachers are analogous with the doctors, architects and engineers. So there is a type of analogical argument. So correct option is 2. Now question number 32. Among the following propositions, two are related in such a way that they can both be true, although they cannot be false. Both be false. Which are those propositions? Select the correct code. So it is uh, given. Some priests are cunning. So I will draw the Venn diagram for this. It will look like this. So if it represents two priests, then it will represent to cunning. So some priests are cunning. No priest is cunning. For this, uh, the Venn diagram will look, will look like this. All priests are cunning. So for this, the Venn diagram will look like this, where all priests are cunning. Some priests are not cunning. So for this, it will look like this and uh, it will represent to this portion so here you will see that A and D both are true at the same time and cannot both be false so correct option is fourth one A and D a cluster of propositions with a structure that exhibits some inference is called an inference, an argument, an explanation, a valid argument. So it's a correct option is an argument. Two is the correct option. Now question number 34. Consider the following assertion and reason and select the correct code given below. No main is perfect. Some main are not perfect. So our correct option is one. Uh, both assertion and reason are true but R does not provide sufficient reason for assertion. The right option is 1. Question number 35. A definition that has a meaning that is deliberately assigned to some symbol is called stipulative. So correct option is third one. Stipulative. If the proposition no men are honest is taken to be false, which of the following proposition can be claimed certainly to be true? So, its correct answer is 2. Some men are honest. Now, given below in the table is the decadal data of population and electrical power production of a country. So, based on the above table, answer the questions from serial number 37 to 42. So, now question number 37. Which decade registered the maximum growth rate of population? So for 61 to 71, we will see that the population is increases from 21 million to 24 million. So difference of this is 3 and divided by 21, it will give us growth, which is approximately equal to 0 0.14. So this is 0 0.14. Similarly, for 71 to 81, 20, the difference of between this is 3 and uh, divided by 24. So it will come approximately 0, uh, it will come 0 0.125. Now, 91 to 2001, this is 2 by 30, it will come approximate 0 0.067. Now, 2001 to 2011 so usually you can calculate growth is uh, 3 divided by 32 
it will come 0 0.093 so from here so you can observe in 1961 to 71 registered the maximum growth rate of population now question number 38 average decadal growth rate of population is so for each decade you have to calculate the growth rate for four decades you have already calculated so remaining two will calculate 51 to 61 it is uh, 1 divided by 20 and uh, which is uh, 0 0.05 and uh, also uh, we have to calculate for 81 to 91 so this is 3 divided by 27 which is equal to 0 0.11 approximately 0.11 so now we will first summarize this 1 2 3 4 5 6 values divided by 6 and average growth rate will come approximately 9.82 percent so second one is the correct option now question number 39 Based on the average decadal growth rate, what will be the population in the year 2021? So in the next 2021, the growth rate is 9.82 percent. So 35 will multiply it by 0. Point, this uh, 0. 0.0982 plus 35 it will give us the uh, population in the year 2021 so it will be approximately 38.49 million now question number 40 in the year 1951 what was the power availability per person so in 1951 you will see that there are 20 million population and electrical power production was 10 gigawatt so easily you can calculate for 20 million people there was 10 gigawatt power so for one people it would be 10 divided by 20 so approximately it will come so easily you can calculate this it will come 500 watt fourth one is the correct answer now for question number 41 in which decade the average power availability per person was maximum so to calculate this uh, in similar way 81 to 91 in 91 we'll calculate 50 divided by 30 so we it will come approximate 1.66 91 to 2001 in this 80 divided by 32 it will come approximate 2.81 1 to 11 100 divided by 35 it will come 2.85 and 71 to 81 in, in this 40 divided by 27 will come 1.48 so easily you will see that in this decade 2001 to 11 there was maximum the average power ability per person was maximum so correct option is third one now question number 42 by what percentage the power production increased from 1951 to 2011 so in 51 it was 10 in 2011 it was 100 so we have to calculate the percentage of increment so easily you can calculate in this way 100 minus 10 divided by 10 
which is nothing but 90 divided by 10 into 100 percent so it's uh, nothing but 900 percent so our correct option is fourth one now question number 43 n m e i c t stands for so it is nothing but national mission on education through ICT information and communication technology so correct option is first one now question number 44 which of the following is an instant messaging application so whatsapp google talk viber all three are instant messaging applications so a b and c are correct fourth one is the correct answer in a computer a byte generally consists of so one byte is equal to eight bits so two is the correct answer which of the following is not an input device microphone keyboard joystick monitor monitor is an output device very simple question now question number 47 which of the following is an open source software ms world windows mozilla firefox and acrobat reader so correct option is third mozilla firefox in case of open source software the copyright holder provides rights rights to study change and distribute the software to anyone or for any purpose for this uh, question number 47 third one is the correct answer which of the following enables us to send the same letter to different persons in ms world mail join mail copy mail insert mail merge mail merge fourth one is the correct answer mail merge is the application it is using a uh, microsoft outlook you can send the same letter same message to different persons now question number 49 inside rural homes the source or sources of nitrogen oxide pollution may be unvented gas stoves wood stoves kerosene heaters choose the correct code so all these three are responsible for uh, nitrogen oxide pollution so correct option is fourth a b and c question number 50 which of the following pollutants can cause cancer in women pesticides mercury lead ozones its uh, correct answer is one as well as third lead so one and three both are correct answer now question number 51 assertion people population control measures do not necessarily help in checking environmental degradation the relationship between population growth and environmental degradation is rather complex so choose the correct answer from the following both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a so first one is the correct answer a and r are true and r is the correct explanation explanation of a question number 52 which of the following phenomena is not a natural hazard wildlife lightning sorry wildfire lightning landslide question number 52 which of the following phenomena is not a natural hazard wildfire lightning landslide chemical contamination so fourth one is uh, not a natural hazard so four is the correct answer question number 53 as part of national climate change policy indian government is planning to raise the installed capacity of renewable energy by the year 2032 so correct option is fourth one 350 gigawatt question number 54 at present in terms of per capita energy consumption kilowatt hour per year identify the correct sequence so there are four countries are given uh, which forms a group of BRICS countries and South Africa is not there so the correct sequence is Russia China Brazil India so 53rd uh, is the correct answer of this 54 if uh, South Africa is there so it will come between Russia and China now question number 55 
which of the following are the objectives of rashtriya uchchadar shiksha abhiyan are you as a to improve the overall quality of state institutions this is correct to ensure the adequate availability of quality faculty this is also correct to create new constitutions through upgradation of existing autonomous colleges this is also correct to downgrade universities with poor infrastructure into autonomous college this is not correct so a b and c are correct two is the correct answer uh, question number 55 so now we have next question question number 56 the grounds on which discrimination in admission to educational institutions is constitutionally prohibited are religion sex place of birth nationality so on d it's not included here select the correct answer from the course given below so second one is the correct answer a b and c only now question 57 which of the following statements are correct about lok sabha the constitution puts a limit on the size of the lok sabha this is correct the size and shape of the parliamentary constituencies is determined by the election commission this is not correct first past the post first past the post uh, this voting system is used electoral system is followed this is also correct the speaker of lok sabha does not have a casting casting vote in case of an inequality of votes so this is also not correct have to. so a b a so a and c are correct one is the correct option now question number 58 public order as an item in the constitution figures in the union list the state list the concurrent list the residuary powers so correct option is two the state list the term of office of the advocate general of a state is not fixed so fourth one is the correct answer which among the following states has the highest number of seats in the lok sabha so uh, know that there are uh, total 543 seats are elected plus two seats uh, are nominated by the president so it's a reserved for anglo indian and uh, so there are total 545 seats are in the lok sabha so out of which in maharashtra there are from maharashtra there are 48 seats from rajasthan it is 25 from tamil nadu it is 39 and from west bengal it is uh, 42 so from among the following options the maharashtra has the highest number of seats in the lok sabha so first one is the correct answer of this question number 60 however we know that the maximum seat the number is 85 total number of seats is only from up uttar pradesh so here we have completed the paper 1 of ejsnet uh, december 2015 exam thank you very much so in the last thank you very much thanks for your kind attention your all suggestions are most welcome please like share and comment and subscribe my channel pravin254888 all the best friends